how are you going to work together? It's really important that, um, particularly at the start of your relationship, but also later on, um, that you think about time management, frequency of meetings, turnaround times for written work, mode of communication. How do you learn best? Um, are you an early bird or a night owl? I'm an, I'm an early bird, and really I like to do my supervision is 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, if I have a student who doesn't get up till midday, that's slight, a slight challenge. But good to be clear about this. And I recommend strongly that um, you review the working relationship as part of your progress review. Um, we have the GSS forms, the termly review forms online, graduate supervision system. And that's an opportunity for you to review your progress. Your supervisor reviews your progress. But personally, I very much like to do that jointly, face to face. Um, review progress, but also review what I call process. Review the process of, of supervision. And in that way, you, you're helping yourself to clarify your expectations and your supervisor's expectations. You say to your supervisor, well, things didn't work quite so well this term as I had hoped. Why was that? Is there something that I could have done differently? I, the supervisor, could have done differently to help you. So that you're continually reviewing your progress and the process as you go along. Expectations are continued. People students vary hugely in the amount of direction, guidance that they want or they need. <coughs> um, and typically that changes over the course of the MPhil, DPhil period. Um, but it's a good idea to um, discuss that with your supervisor because it's not a given. Um, Sometimes I say to students, you, you mustn't be a victim of the role which a supervisor wishes to impose on you. You have choices, and it's up to you to help to make this relationship, to make this process work for you. Um, written work. What kind of written work? Does your super, is your supervisor okay with early drafts? Um, I talk about the dangers of perfectionism because for me perfectionism is also a very helpful, useful, delaying tactic. I haven't quite got it good enough, I can't hand it in yet, it's not quite good enough. Um, and I'm afraid I will say to students, I'm sure it's good enough now, please hand it in tomorrow. Um, and I would say right often, and when I say right often, um, I'm thinking of every day. Even if it's just a little paragraph, the more you write, the more practiced you come, become, and the more confidence and authority you will have when you write the final thesis. So it's really important, write often, possibly a lot of time for yourself, but also write regularly for your supervisor. Get the benefits of feedback. Um, and, as I say, clarify with your supervisor whether early drafts are okay whether later drafts are preferable. But please don't aim for perfectionism, I suggest. Milestones and timetable, who's in charge? Um, it's a good idea to clarify that. Um, if you expect your supervisor to be in charge of letting you know that it's time to hand in your submission for transfer of status, make sure that your supervisor knows that you're expecting it. In my experience, it's quite a good idea for you to take <coughs> charge of your timetable. And what I recommend with first year MPhil or DPhil students is do make your two year or your three year or your four year plan. Do say, here is day one, here is viva examination, and here are the milestones in between, so that you keep a, a track, discuss that regularly with your supervisor. 
But the most important thing is to clarify who is in charge. What do students expect from their supervisors? Well, you can probably tell me as well as I can tell you. And if we were in a different mode of presentation, I would ask you what you expect from your supervisors. Um, but I'm sure that these are some of the things that you would expect. Genuine interest, an approach that adapts attention, constructive and timely feedback, relationships that are friendly but not too informal, clear and supportive communication, and respect. I think we all need respect. What do supervisors expect from their students? Responsiveness to supervision. And obviously there are different forms of responsiveness and different ways of taking on board feedback. But I think one of the most irritating um, things for supervisors is to have feedback just ignored, not taken on board at all. Absolutely fine to disagree with feedback comments. That's great. That's part of academic dialogue, moving forward boundaries of knowledge. But unwise to ignore feedback, um, even if it's puzzling, unpalatable, and so on. Um, supervisors expect students to submit written text on time and as agreed. For myself, I like to have this text um, a few days before our meeting so that I can read it thoroughly and prepare for the meeting. Again, check with your supervisor what, what they want. For myself, I like to see students regularly, once a fortnight, and possibly even once a week in the first year, get a lot of writing, get a lot of um, ideas flowing, progress on at that stage. Um, and ideally, every fortnight have a short piece of written text on which I can give some feedback. Um, attendance at meetings is agreed. Good idea to be on time, but um, some supervisors care more about that than others. Critical engagement with the research, initiative, communication, and again, respect. 